My name is Jack Hittrich. Um, everyone should know that I used to be a liberal, and in fact, I used to uh, be very involved with the BC Liberal Party, but not anymore. Uh, back in uh, 2013, I became involved, well, actually, it predates 2013, but particularly in 2013, um, I uh, commenced the lawsuit against uh, the Minister of Children and Family Development and um, was successful in proving um, social workers liable, not just to negligence, but also misfeasance in public office. It's a high-profile case, the JP case, where social workers refused to leave my client and the children that they were sexually abused, and they supported the pedophile. The more my client cried out for help, the more she was labeled as crazy. The decision comes down in the summer of 2015, and we reached out to the government, we reached out to members of the legislature. The only people that were prepared to help were the NDP. John Horgan was there, all of his caucus, and they were instrumental in grilling the government. Stephanie Cadeau was a total disaster. She couldn't answer any questions. In fact, historically, she has been a disaster in the legislature. If one looks at the clip, clip after clip, uh, questions, she can't answer. Quite often, Christy Clark came to her rescue. Stephanie Cadeau has abdicated her responsibility as the minister in charge. She has been a complete disaster when it comes to running her ministry. It appears to many people that senior bureaucrats actually run the show in many ways. And Stephanie Cadu is, I hate to say this, almost a puppet. And one of the reasons why she has stayed in the position of minister is because she has never really taken charge and hasn't held her social workers accountable. So there's no doubt in my mind that she has been an unmitigated disaster overall. Uh, all you have to do is look at the um, uh, reports of the uh, representative of children and youth, um, Mary Ellen Turpel Lafond, who now is retired, but there is report after report. Uh, the number of children dying in care, the number of children not being properly uh, monitored. It is a disgrace. And the, aside from this, that case, I've been involved in other cases. I was involved in the Métis toddler case that was in the news, where uh, former foster parents were trying to adopt a little girl. Um, she was three by the time um, the litigation ended. She had only known my clients, birth parents in support, everyone in support, the ministry decides to ship this little girl to Ontario. All we wanted was a hearing on the best interest test of this little girl. And the government has done nothing but resist, block, uh, they, they went to court to quash the proceedings on procedural grounds. We appealed to the minister got absolutely nowhere. It is truly, truly sad that S Stephanie Cadu has not stood up for children in British Columbia, the most vulnerable. And um, there is no doubt in my mind that uh, she does deserve to be reelected. So that's one reason why I'm supporting ADP. But on a, on a more philosophical level, um, the NDP is a more compassionate party, more caring, uh, cares more about the average person. It has a social conscience that, unfortunately, they both don't. So I am very uh, privileged and, and honored to support Jonathan Severa. And I certainly hope that uh, John Horgan and uh, people like Jonathan 
succeed on May the 9th. So, thank you. Thank you.